Good afternoon folks welcome back to my channel and in this particular video we will be doing a build by build what I mean is like instead of going on a ride we would be doing certain modification or stuff like that and in this one we will be fixing this particular light on my Continental GT what I will be doing is I will be not only attaching it at the top of the headlamp rather I will also be attaching a switch to cut off the power to this particular light as in case of any incoming traffic it may happen that uh, the blinding glare won't really be making them able to see anything and that's why it's our uh, responsibility to make it such that in case if there is any kind of such encounters or any kind of such uh, incoming traffic we switch it off for the ease of general public this kind of light or the led assembly comes with three wires basically one for ground the other two for dim and dipper settings for the light and what you have to do for installing a switch that you have to cut the ground wire and then you have to install the switch at that particular wire it's not really a very difficult task and you can do it on your own too nevertheless make sure that you do it as it's always good to be a little considerate on road and uh, let other people also have a very good experience about riding in the night and uh, this is one of the ways you are going to contribute to that particular cause so stay tuned and watch the video till the end to do it on your own Now that we have already added an extension wire, let's attach the switch to it. It's all done and we'll be installing this particular light assembly at the top of the headlamp itself. We'll be using this screw so that it could be easily mounted over the headlamp itself without any additional use of any kind of jigs or something as such as that would really be making it look ugly. So let's see how it turns up. It's pretty sticky and that may damage the chrome at the top of the headlamp and that's why we need to have a rubber base. For that what I'm going to do is to cut a section of this particular tube and use it as a rubber base because that would not only be arresting the stickiness, it would also be helping uh, the chrome to be intact as it was uh, from the factory.
mounting is already done. Let's make the connections. Unfortunately, the process went out of the frame, but it's not really a difficult task. What you have to do is like you have to connect the ground wire with the ground wire and the other two accordingly depending upon how the dim and depot works for both of the lights. All set. Let's tighten the mount and the headlamp along with it. Let's see if we have succeeded in doing this particular arrangement on my bike. So the low beam works well and so does the high beam and it works in sync with the headlamp and other things are not really hampered along with on and other things so it's good to go. Let's see how it appears from the cockpit view. <laughs> not bad I must say and not really hampering the frontal view area. Let's wait for another 5 to 6 hours to see how good the light is at night. I have technically waited for this whole day. Ah, so time. Let's switch on the headlamp first. That's normal headlamp. <laughs> Standard. Now the difference. <laughs> Let me show you guys the difference. See that? There's a whole world of difference. So be it folks, stay tuned for more. Till the next time or till the next ride I must say. Build it, ride it. <laughs>